Hey everyone, uh, it's Justin Matson. This is my vlog, I Have Hopes and Dreams. I uh, just want to give you a quick update because it's been like 15 years. Uh, yeah, so um, everything's going good. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else is new. You know, some stuff. Uh, I'm in LA now, I'm married, I'm kind of still the same career-wise, but I'm getting there. Uh, I still have hopes and dreams. Uh, they're just a little sadder. Um, but yeah, things are going good. I wanted to start vlogging again, uh, you know, because I always loved doing it back in the day. Because uh, I'm, I'm getting like a big life change and I thought it'd be good to like kind of uh, capture my journey. Um, I'm doing weight loss surgery and, um, you know, I thought that'd be like an interesting thing to, to like track and talk about and maybe uh you know get some content out there on the social media so my agent stops calling or starts calling i don't know um so uh yeah so my name's justin i said that before <laughs> uh so yeah i'm i'm uh i've been kind of overweight i think i don't know if you noticed uh so um <laughs> so i was thinking of getting weight loss surgery and uh you know it took a while to, to make the decision you know i've tried other things um, I'm, I'm getting the uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, which is, um, I'll explain it in a second. The, the short story is like, uh, they take most of your stomach, they cut out most of it, and then they throw it in the trash. Um, but I like to think they find a good home for it, you know? Maybe they give it to a new owner, like a rescue, you know? Like, uh, this stomach's been abused before. It was force-fed Cheetos. Uh, please find it a new home, you know? Um, I'm a comedian. I forgot to mention that. I do bits. Um, but, um... So yeah, so, uh, so, you know, so I gained some weight and like I've been trying everything. I feel like I've been, you know, walking and eating less and all that stuff and it just isn't working. And so after, you know, like five years of like trying everything else under the moon, I thought this was kind of a good step to kind of give me that tool I need to try to, you know, get fit again and not die before I'm 40. Um, and I think that'll do that. It'll help. Uh, you know, it's not a cure. It's not going to, like, solve all my problems. I can't eat ice cream all day or whatever. But it'll help me, um, you know, like... Uh, basically the way it works is your stomach's smaller and technically some of your hunger hormones, pr it produces less goo in your stomach. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but, uh, the less goo and, um, and so you're not supposedly as hungry. You don't have as many cravings and because your stomach's so small, you can't fit as much in it. So like a, you know, like this is your new stomach and this is pizza, you know, and so it won't fit in there. So, um, so it helps you, uh, kind of just get more like eat smaller portions and stick to diets and healthy living choices. Um, I don't know if diet's a bad word now, sorry. If you're triggered, uh, I should put a little warning label. Um, I might speak old, sorry. Um, but food uh, uh, prerogatives is maybe what I should say. Um, so, you know, so, so I have it this Friday and I'm kind of nervous, it's like, um, you know, I'm going to have weight loss surgery. It's it's a pretty safe surgery, I think. Like, they said it was, like, safer than a tonsillectomy or whatever. And there's only, like, a 0.3% chance you'll die or something, which is fine. That's, like, going to the mailbox, you know. Um, but it's a big life change, you know, for sure. Like, there's, there's um, supposedly a, a pretty... Uh, like, you can get up and walk around, you know, a few days after. Like, so you're not really, like, bedridden or anything like that. It's not, like, a huge recovery time in terms of, like, mobility and stuff. But in terms of, like, your eating, uh, you have to, like, basically, like, reset your body and your stomach has to heal and retrain and reset your body weight and all that stuff. And, um... So you kind of eat, at first you drink waters, and then you drink milks and and broths, and then, like, eventually, after, like, a month or so, you'll eat, like, soft foods, like yogurts and cottage cheeses and stuff. Uh, a lot of protein shakes. They really want you to push for protein. Um, and then eventually, you know, after, like, three months, you start to eat, um, well, it says like eight, seven to eight weeks, so I guess more like two months, you'll start to maybe slowly eat uh, food again, which is exciting. Uh, people like food. Um, and that's what you can eat, like normal, like regular, like meat, meats and stuff. 
Um, but it has to be like healthy food. You know, they, the whole point is you're trying to eat healthy again. So, so they encourage you to have like, you know, uh, bland chicken underwater, you know, and, uh, celery with protein powder, stuff like that. And, um, but yeah, but it's supposedly it'll be easier to do cause you're, you, you don't get as many calories in the day and, and your hunger cravings are different. So anyways. Um, so yeah, so I'll talk a lot about it as I go. Um, maybe I should give like a, a little, if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm not a doctor. So don't like take this as legal or health advice. Um, don't listen to me for anything, um, except maybe good Roycey Murphy recommendations. Uh, she's an artist. Uh, I don't know much about her, but you should listen to me for her info anyways. But, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, so just want to talk about that, uh, catch my journey, uh, uh, you know, maybe some before after photos. Uh, if you have any questions about what it's like to get your life together, let me know in the comments below, uh, and I'll answer them, <laughs> whatever your questions are. Um, you know, uh, I want to preach what I practice, you know, so, uh, I give you all the hot tips on how to get your life together and, uh, all the advice. Uh, maybe you're contemplating surgery, or maybe you're contemplating eating less, or maybe you're contemplating walking more. Uh, those are things that I can give uh, firsthand experience with. So, um, yeah, so so uh, hit that, smash that like button. I don't even know. Uh, let's change since I last vlogged. Uh, vertical, like videos are vertical now. No one knows why. Um, so you might, I might look different, uh, you know, vertically, uh, then I was so, so just get used to that. Uh, but I could add subtitles cause you're not going to listen to me. Uh, so now you can read me as you're pooping. So I'll put little subtitles up there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still me. I'm a little sassier, a little older, but, uh, you know, I'm still, uh, doing my thing. Uh, I think they still say thing. <laughs> I did. Um, but yeah, so just wanted to start talking and, uh, yeah, I want to try to like not over prepare, over write, over script, over, you know, uh, I, I want to waste your time as much as possible and just kind of speak freely, you know, without the mainstream media trying to censor me. <laughs> so, um, I'll, you know, I'll be vlogging and blogging and talking. Um, yeah, um, I think that's it. Uh, I'll give you more updates. So I don't know if it's weekly or daily or minutely, um, but it'll probably be a little more often than every 15 years. And uh, yeah, I did want to talk a little bit about like my experience and it's just my experience, but just to kind of maybe if you're in the bariatric community or you plan to be or you're uh, someone in the fitness community or in the comedy community uh, and you want to hear someone's experience or maybe you just like background noise as you're cooking, uh, then you can put me on and listen to me and share and like and tell everyone and, you know, call Sony and say, hey, you got to book this guy on your next, I don't know what they do. Sony doesn't you know, maybe your next PlayStation game. Uh, he'd be great for it, you know? Bariatric Pals Extreme is the name of the game. Um, all right, well, that's good. Uh, I love you, and, wait, I shouldn't have said that, but you're great, and, uh, yeah, check, check me out on the grams. I don't know if there isn't, I don't know where this video is going. I used to just use YouTube, but now there's like other things. So I don't know if I'll put this on Instagram, maybe TikTok. I don't know, do they allow nine minute videos on TikTok? I don't know. You know, no one does, but I'll ask a young person and we'll figure it out. Um, all right, you're great. All right, bye.